the vast cold. That's what the folk in town used to call it. It's what they saw when they looked out. Dangerous nothingness. But I had another notion. How those stars burn so damn bright that not even the vast cold of the verts could put a dim on them. Well, ain't that a sweet sentiment? How can anyone possibly think that these events are anything but the work of independent terrorists? Wake up, everyone! I mean, is the war really over if we're still facing attacks every day from these so-called brown coat radicals? Uh, Captain, is there any up to know us for taking a whole mess of shots here? Oh. Oh. Hunter, your pilot is going to get us killed! Oh. Not the time! Let's move! Why are you yelling? Unbelievable! You're hung over with the hammer of God slamming into the hall! I don't appreciate you implying that the captain don't take care of his ship! Your ship? Half! Well, feel free to blow up your half, but if my half doesn't arrive with my cargo intact, none of us are getting a Goram sent from my employer. But I can think of another bounty I can collect. You are rather sobering. Your cargo's fine, see? Maribel, will you please tell Miss Stack here that her sad looking bounty is safe and sound? Looks safe and sound to me. Sad looking? What about my cargo? Are we getting shot at? Because it feels like we're getting shot at. That's not the concern of the passengers, Chow. Rusty! Up and at him! Up and at him! You lied to me, Captain! You said this to be a transport ship! Some light and fast! You didn't say anything about O'Shea and eating a high density plating in the back because we'd be barraged by Tamala missiles! You built her! I'm confident you will figure it out! Ah, yeah! Confidence, right! I'm gonna pull that to the hall! See? Everything's under control. Captain? Excuse me. I do think when one is under bombardment, the idea is to fire away from the explosion! Yeah, why don't you let me worry about sailing and I won't tell you, you know, how to be a creepy little grease guy. Why is my ship being shot at? Your ship? You suck! Shut up, Rusty. What do they want, Yoke? Oh, I reckon they want our attention, Captain. They send word? No. Yes? Crew of the Overland, Brett Hunter, you filthy deserter. Easy, Moira. Got a bit of a headache. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll try to keep it down. Mr. Hydro's speed lines are shattering. One more shot like that and, well, we're all gonna die! Enough of your games, Hunter. Give me back my shipment now or you can be damn well sure that I'll... Do all sorts of awful, bad, icky stuff. Yeah, yeah. So what's the plan, Captain? Hey, Cap, look. It's their ship. It's one of the old Shinigami warbirds. Hunter, can you hear me? Are you muted? Okay, okay, Moira, stop shooting. We'll do it your way. Are you going to comply or not? Ah, got it here. Ah, stop shooting. Ah. You can have the red nux. All right, we can't take another hit. We have innocent people on board. There's the coward I know. Smart man. Set your ship into a docking pattern and don't do anything stupid. Moving into position. Out. So that's it. You're just going to give up? Heads up, everyone. We're gonna do something stupid. What? I gather this happens a lot. More than I would prefer. Overland, engage your docking protocol. Overland, do you copy? Hunter, do you read? Don't get proud. 80, 75, 70, 65. Any closer when we're kissing? Three. Wait! Two. One. Sorry, girl. Now.
classic turn and burn. Those smaller orbital ships ain't plated to handle that level of heat at that range. I mean, they can't even hard burn in that low. So we give them a face full of our engines and they're toast. Why are you telling me this? Oh, I, I, because, I thought that, <clears throat> because I thought that you would think that I was, that it was neat. Okay. <laughs> Captain, is this gonna delay us long? It shouldn't. I deliver the girl, collect the bounty, and we move on to our next job. I beg pardon, I believe that question was for me. And I believe I'm the one who knew the answer. Great. When do we leave? What we? There is no we. You did your job up there, barely. Down here is my domain. Be that as it may, I think I'll tag along. Just to keep you honest in case. Fine. I am genuinely impressed you guys have survived this long. See, now I'm taking back talk from the bounty. You see what comes from undermining my authority? I'm going with. That's it. And besides, the ship is fine. Port side engine stabilizer's gone. The aft rotating cuff is destroyed. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get off of this rock without a new nav condenser cap. Condenser cap? Oh. Sorry. Yeah, I got one of these in my sales case for planet side. Great. We are planet side. And so we are. In a bargain at just 50 credits. 50 credits? We're stuck on this moon without one of those. All right, 40. You came to me, Chow, looking to expand your business. And uh, despite being a businessman, I still don't think you're entirely stupid. You gotta know. Ship don't fly, people don't buy. It'll work. Yoke, I'll see you in comms. All right. Keep an eye on him for me, will ya? Uh, I have a fear, Cap. The Overland will be in one piece by the time you get back. Well, it won't be in any more pieces by the time you get back. Do me a favor, yeah. your head on a swivel, all right? <clears throat> Maribel, you're drafted, get ready. What? No, 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 I'm not. Ah, uh, when you came aboard, you said you knew your way around a rifle, yes? Yeah, well, what about Chow? I need a marksman, not a salesman. Plus, I get a cut of his business. Everybody needs to pull their weight around here. Well, what's your pilot doing? Him and Gun... I didn't ask for much, so you can help or you can walk. Fine. What's my cut? That's his spirit. Let's get one thing straight. This is a professional operation, not some backwater bushwhack. I don't need you playing it fast and loose. I don't even want you to blow your nose without my permission. This is my rodeo. Do you have anything to say to that? Giddy up. Now see, to me and my unprofessional eyes, this looks exactly like a backwater bushfire. Shut up. But I'm no professional. Well, you two are exhausting. There goes your brownie. Ah! Oh. Hunter becomes the hunted. Proud of that one? Yeah. Been working on that one. Drop your iron. It's been a while, Woody. Guessing y'all ain't the welcoming committee here to pay us the bounty on that little murderer. Just them, Commodore. Commodore? Ain't that fancy. Unless you call being in charge of a bunch of jukebong, mothballed fighters a Commodore, then sure. You believe this guy? <laughs> you ain't got no business cracking jokes, boy. Seeing as how one of my jukebong, mothball fighters nearly introduced you to your maker. So, oh, Moira was your doing. You know, to be fair, you're worth more alive than dead. Of course, to be unfair, I hate you. <laughs> And I'd have been fine with a, a little pay cut. Did you forget I was aboard that ship? You know, our line of work, it's rarely cut and dried, Hunter. Of course, as a deserter, I'm sure you understand that. Wow. Must have never really sat well with you that I quit on my own terms and the Alliance kicked you out. Dishonorable discharge. Shut up. Did he tell you guys that he got medals in the war? Reck, he didn't tell you how many of his men he got killed. You shut your mouth, Hunter. Expendable. As long as he got his. Even his close friends. 
Can't look like much changed. That's enough! Get your damn hands up! Not a chance! You got it! We surrender. Put my hand down! I'm not going out like this! Commodore is a very dangerous man. We wouldn't want to get killed... accidentally. Yeah. Yeah. I really think I'm fine with... <laughs> Taking fire! What? Oh, poor Randy! Oh, this is a professional operation? Oh, that. Oh, well, aren't you the last person I expected to see? I shoot Maribel. Wait, pulled, Captain? I'm gonna end you, you double cross him. Oh, now, hey, look. You do what you want. But we've all done some dumb things for money. Now, what happened back there? It ain't even too far off needle of your moral compass. As much as I'd love to sit here and chat morality with you, Sweet Pea, we kind of got a reputation around here best left behind. And you're standing in my way. Nah, I already made one bad decision today. I don't intend to make another one. I'll give you half the pay of what the Commodore gave me. a lot of zeros. We'll take all the credits and you're off the next port. And I'm keeping this. I got any choice in the matter? Oh, you got miles and miles of choice. Vast and cold. That's what the folk in town used to call it. It's what they saw when they looked down. Dangerous nothingness. But I had another notion. How those stars burned so damn bright that not even the vast cold of the verse could put a dim on them. Ain't that a sweet sentiment?